What's up everyone, welcome to this new episode of Monday Mixes and we're trying something new. We're moving away from uh, videos where we talk about our songs and how we um, EQ things, how we compress things, how we added reverb and all of the stuff that we've talked about in previous episodes. And we're going to shift gears and discuss specific things that we think are useful, uh, useful for many productions. And um, today, for instance, we want to talk about widening pad sounds, because uh, we often found, especially when scrolling through pads, you find a really good sound, but at the same time, it lacks something it lacks that sense of space that sense of width so we have a trick that we always do instead of adding uh, chorus effects and just other types of uh, widening tools which tend to cause a bit of a phase issue especially in the low end and uh, mid-range um, we have this trick that involves cable guys plugins and we're going to show you how we use it to widen our pads if the pad doesn't already uh, contain that immersive quality to it. Okay, so I'm in Reaper now, and as you see, I have a pad uh, already lined up, and it's going to loop the same four chords. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like. It's a good sound. Uh, I love this type of analog sounding pad, but I think you can notice that it is somewhat narrow. Um, what you want from a pad is to envelop everything in a, in a lush sound. So this one doesn't really cut it, but I do like the sound of it. So what can we do to make it a bit wider? Um, the trick we always use is, gone is called the shaper box from cable guys and this plugin is fantastic i mean I, I absolutely love it it's literally on every one of our productions uh i don't really use the width tool that much surprisingly for what we will do today uh you can obviously uh play around with that and you can play around with uh different types of um widening tools so for instance you could do it with um the um, Acon Digital Multiply, which is a chorus. You can do it with the uh, S1 Imager from Waves. You can do it with the Vocal Doubler if you use it on vocals mainly. And you can do it with the, the Wider from Infected Mushrooms. But doing it with this fantastic plugin lets you avoid those phasing issues that are pretty much a given when you start widening uh, the stereo field. So what we're going to do today is actually add the pan tool. And the trick here is to make part of the sound swirl left and right. So it gives off the illusion of width. And we need to set this to the high band and we'll solo it to listen to exactly what we want to affect. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to select this kind of sine wavy pad to it. So let's have a listen to what it does now. It's set to 4-4, four, four, so you, you'll hear the effect. So see it moves left to right really slowly, but if we set this to 16 notes, And it is a bit pronounced, so two solutions to that, even though, uh, personally, I really love this movement you get, but you can select a different profile where the sign is just a bit uh, subdued. Love that, I think it probably works a bit better for this. And also, maybe even raise this. And 
even that is a bit too much for you, we can also turn down the, the overall mix. Love it. And let's have a before and after. Okay, so it's as easy as that. You don't have to do anything complicated. It's literally just putting the Cable Guys plugin on your pad sound, tweaking the uh, pan tool so that you only cover the top end and you set it to 16 notes and that's it. You're off to the races. You will get a wider pad. Uh, if you like this tip, if you enjoy our videos in general, let us know in the comments below and let us know what other uh, things problems you might have because we might have a solution for them so in the meantime share the video like it subscribe and we'll see you next time